Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. So we moved a little bit south. We're now in Key West. This is the most uh, southern point in the United States. Yep. We are in Mallory Square now and we have one hour to dinner, so we're gonna check out this area. I, so far, it's looking amazing. Yeah, Both yeah. It's so charming. And the day just turned out so beautifully. Yeah. Everybody is out ready for the sunset, so if you come here, apparently, Mallory Square is the spot yeah. to wait for the sunset. It sure looks like it. All the sailboats are going by. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Especially if you get one of those. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the silhouette of that. Yeah. We won't be able to do that because tomorrow we're going with one of those. first excursion in Key West was to hit the water for a dolphin watching and snorkeling excursion with the folks from Barefoot Billy's Water Sports and it was a fantastic experience. I don't know about waiting in a line to get a picture taken at the southernmost part of the United States, do you? No, definitely not. Yeah. But it's southernmost point, but the thing is that when you look at the map, it's not really the most southern. It goes So they put a marker there for no good reason? He's standing on a pavement, that's why I'm so small, first of all. Yeah. Um yeah, they put a marker because maybe the southernmost point is not reachable by foot. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. Thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. But no, definitely I will not stay in line for a picture. No. Okay, so are you ready for this climb all the way up into the lighthouse? No, really, we have no water. And uh. we're tired and it's hot, so no, the yeah. short answer is no. Oh, well, I'm looking at this from a positive perspective, and I'm thinking about this incredible view up there. Take the positive one now. <laughs> And the breeze feels amazing. Look at that nice porch there, the chairs, the table. At least we got stuck in the shade. Yeah, that was nice.
right now we're at this beautiful place, the uh, Tropical Gardens here in Key West, and they are celebrating their 85th anniversary, which is quite a feat if you think about all the tropical storms and um, and hurricanes and things like that that they've had to overcome all of those years. So, I w oh, frangipani. Frangipani is Miha's favorite flower. Yeah, I think here, at least in Hawaii, it's called Monoi. I don't know how you call it here, but I call it Frangipani. Sit on the bed and yeah. play. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Gosh, what a setting this is. We both really enjoy botanical gardens and stuff, and this is just really remarkable. Tropical. Yeah. My favorite kind. With a look nice little boardwalk. Oh, look at these things. The palm the trees? Species of palm trees, I guess. Oh, look at their leaves. They are.
So right now we are about to go on a jet ski excursion and this is Miha's first time on a jet ski. What are you feeling? Exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice. I hope he doesn't do any stupid thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we're on a tour, so I might be limited to the stupid things I can do, which yes. I would translate <laughs> into being fun things. Yeah, and if the hair looks really disheveled, it's because we didn't shower. It's first thing in the morning, and uh, we're going to get all wet anyhow, so. The first ski jet just arrived. Jet ski. The first jet ski just arrived. Oh, okay, cool. Liability waiver signed, we're just about to hit the water. so far <laughs> I think it was a lot of fun <laughs> yeah it's a it's a bit choppy in some of those yeah. areas but the smooth areas are yeah, awesome yeah, yeah it's exactly beautiful out here just got done with our jet ski oh. tour <laughs> yeah we both Thanks. are a little disheveled but we want to give a big shout out to barefoot bobs they're the tour operator that we went on this jet ski trip with as well as yesterday the uh, dolphin, dolphin and, and snorkel, snorkel yeah. trip yeah it was with them as well yeah. both really really fun Very. During our trip to Key West, we stayed at Boyd's Campground, which is a convenient location, but the traffic and airplane noise was not pleasant. If you're lucky to get a spot right on the water, it might be worth putting up with the noise. Our favorite restaurant in Key West was Half Shell Raw Bar. It's a casual fish house with waterside seating in a former shrimp packing facility. The vibe is great and the fresh seafood and cocktails are outstanding. After dinner, it's a great area to stroll the boardwalk. all she wrote for this uh, trip. We only had two days here. We definitely, in Key West. In Key West. Yeah, we had two days in, next to Marathon. Um, we recommend what? Minimum four days? Oh, minimum four days, yeah. One week would be ideal. Yeah, a week I think would be fine for the keys. For the keys in total, yeah, yeah going back yeah. and forth, yeah. Um, we really love the atmosphere, the vibe here. Yeah, so, if you're into water sports and stuff, oh, man, it's awesome. Yeah. We tried to pack as much as possible in two days, and I think we did pretty good. Yeah. We did snorkeling, a dolphin watch, um, ski jet, sunset sailing. Ski jet. Ski jet. Oh, not ski jet. Jet skis jet is skis. generic, but we they were actual wave runners. Okay, wave runners. There you go. We were on water with some jets. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let me, I call them water scooters, so which I think is kind of a fair description to call them. They do a little bit more than scoot. <laughs> okay then, They're so we're fast. off. 
<laughs> so we are off Key West, as I was saying, um, and we are going to Miami Everglades. We're gonna station there for three days. It's the first time we stay in one place for three days in a campground. Ah, uh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe in a right. campground, yeah. Yeah. So, wow, what a luxury that would be. Exactly. It would be so cool not to hitch. Yeah. In uh, for three days. Yeah. Now I have to pay attention to the road. Bye.